Hello everyone, I uh, hope you all are having a good day out there today and um, on this video we're going to make some cream of broccoli soup. We're going to have some white cheddar cheese in the soup and we're going to have some bacon to go with this as well. Um, so I'm going to go through the ingredients real quick here. We have chopped onions, chopped celery, chopped carrots, which is pretty much a basic soup base for the vegetables. We have some fresh oregano and thyme. I had this in my refrigerator, so I'm using fresh herbs. You can also use some dry herbs as well, which I do have in here. So I have uh, some bay leaves here. I have a uh, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic pepper, half a teaspoon of dry Italian spices, and a half a teaspoon of coriander, ground coriander, that I grind myself. Uh, you can buy that in the store if you like to have some, or you can uh, uh, not use the coriander if you, if you don't have any coriander. You can skip that. And we have some bay leaves in there as well. Uh, over here, I have some, when I chop up my broccoli, which I have here, sometimes there's some pieces left over. I use these small pieces to uh, add to the soup as well, give it a little more flavor. And we have two slices of bacon cut up into small pieces. We're gonna cook this off. And to make my soup hearty and filling, I like to add orzo pasta. Orzo pasta is shaped like rice. It looks just like rice, but it's actually pasta. So this, this tastes good, it goes good with the cream and the broccoli, um, it goes very well. So uh, we have uh, chicken stock, of course, and we have one cup of milk here. This is just whole milk. I'm not using heavy cream or half and half. This is just regular whole milk. You can substitute that for uh, half and half or heavy cream if you like. Um, we also have some flour and some butter here. So what I do is I like to thicken up my soup with a roux. So I'm gonna make some roux with that flour and butter. And um, I'm gonna get all this together and we're gonna get our cream of broccoli soup started. Okay, now we have our pot on the burner. It's hot. We're gonna add the bacon to the pot first. Cook that off. And the good thing about cooking the bacon off is we get to use the bacon fat to saute our vegetables in. So we're gonna let this cook and then we will add our vegetables once we get the bacon cooked. Then we're gonna remove the bacon from the pot because we don't want the bacon to get all soggy. We want it to be crispy. So we're gonna take the bacon out and then we'll add it back to the soup uh, when we're ready to serve. Okay, so we have cooked off our bacon and then we added our vegetables here. Vegetables have been cooking about four minutes now. So they're soft, they're getting soft. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to add our 
chicken stock and we're going to add our seasoning. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this combination of seasoning here into the pot. Stir that around a little bit and then we're going to add our chicken stock. This is my homemade stock. Of course, you can get chicken stock from the uh, grocer. You could add some water with some of your favorite bouillon. You could use actually vegetable uh, stock as well. You don't have to go with the chicken here. Um, but after we add our stock, we're going to cover this pot and let it come to a boil. And then the next thing we will add will be our uh, orzo pasta and our fresh herbs. Okay, everyone, our water is boiling. Uh, we're just going to recap a little bit here. We cooked off our bacon. We cooked off our vegetables. We added our chicken stock. Uh, we brought that to a boil. We added our orzo pasta. And the pasta has been cooking about four and a half, five minutes now. So it's smelling really good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add our cream sauce, which has a little bit of cheddar cheese in it as well to the pot and get that in here. So we just made a basic bechamel, white sauce, added some cheese to that. And we're just gonna stir that in here. And this is gonna give us our cream and some cheese flavor. And I have some additional roux if I need to thicken this up some more, we're going to see how thick it comes to right now. So we're just going to stir this in here good. And it's starting to look real creamy here. All right, so that's good. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back up to a boil again. And then we're going to add our broccoli. But before we do that, something I almost forgot, we're going to add our fresh herbs now. So we put those fresh herbs in there. That's some chopped oregano and chopped thyme. Okay, now we're looking good. So we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we're going to do some tasting, make sure we got enough salt, pepper, and other seasonings. And then we're going to add our broccoli to the pot. Okay, so our soup is boiling again. And I tasted it, and it needs a little bit of salt and pepper. So I have a little salt, pepper, and some granulated garlic here. A quarter teaspoon of each. So we're going to add that to the pot, and I'm going to whisk the scene here. And we can see our cream. Looks good. It's kind of melded in there with the rest of the uh, soup here. So right now we got a very good broth. And that looks good. We're going to give it another taste here. So we got a nice creamy texture. You can see that on the spoon. It's not very, it's not too thick, but we let's give it a taste here. Okay, that's good. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add our broccoli. All right, so we're boiling again. We're going to add our broccoli florets to the pot now. We have a beautiful creamy base so when I add the broccoli and I turn the pot off 
because you know broccoli cooks quick and one we don't want to overcook it where it gets all mushy so we're gonna turn the pot off now and our soup is almost ready we just give it another three minutes or so and it'll be ready to serve Okay, everybody, the soup is ready. I served it up in this bowl here. I topped it with some uh, grated cheddar, some yellow cheddar, just to give it that color and some of the bacon bits. I chopped up very small along with some of the uh, chopped uh, parsley here. And I made a couple of slices of toast here. So we have uh, some toast. I got a, a loaf of French bread I uh, made some toast with that. So we have the soup with the toast. Um, this is a good meal uh, to serve like maybe the day before Thanksgiving or maybe even the day after when you want something light but not too heavy. The soup is hearty. As you can see, I'm just gonna go in the bowl here. You can see it's thick. We have the orzo pasta in there. We have the vegetables in there. We have some nice broccoli florets as well. Uh, of course, our ultimate test is a taste test, so we're going to give it a quick taste here. Yeah, that tastes great. That is really good. Lots of flavor to it. The cream sauce broth of it came out great. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'll put all the ingredients in the comment list below. I want to thank you for viewing, and everybody have a great day.